Hi guys, welcome. I've tried taking on Manuel a few times, the other 2100 bot, but today I'm going to focus on trying to take on Oscar. He is he uh, is a good player who admires former world champion Petrosian. He defends carefully and rarely loses. Is that Sweden, I think? Um, challenge match, black or white? Yeah, it's Sweden. Okay. Oscar, hope you're all well, guys, by the way. So if we play this channel also, Fianchetto, is that okay? Yeah, let's try it. So they get the bishop out first, so we got to block with the knight, and then we go for like a queenside castle. I think we've got to put a pawn in the center to stop them kicking my knight, so I just did that reactively a little bit. And now we'll open up for the dark squares. I don't know what the hell I'm playing. King's Fianchetto opening. Is that me or him? I guess him. It's the king side. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit odd. I feel like I'm playing as white since he's played this opening. I feel like I've got an extra tempo compared to normal. So, do I just start attacking? If here, here. If they take, I sack the rook. They take, I take. So I get a pawn and a knight for the rook. And I have open lines to attack. It looks very intriguing. If this, they can just block. So I, I think I'll probably develop the bishop to this square. It's whether I play this pawn before I develop the knight. Um, I think this is coming regardless. So I could just play that to stay flexible. And they immediately just hit my bishop. That's annoying. But if I slide back and then prepare this plan, it's, it's just another attacker on this square, isn't it? They're hitting this square. So if I go here, they take... No. They go here. They can't take this because the knight covers. So now rook covers this weak pawn. Seems a little bit odd, doesn't it? So stacking pressure over here. I don't really see what it does. If push takes takes, do we care? I don't think we do. I think it's nice for us. We're just starting our pawn storm. Oh, I guess they win this pawn now. Oh, we do care. We do. I'm going to need to increase my depth of, uh, <laughs> you know, using the engine. And you show how many lines of depth you're going to have to go on. I'm going to mentally just increase my depth right now. Because I, I should have seen that if I'd just taken another second. So maybe we're going to trade off the light square bishop here. And put all our pawns on light squares. So let's, let's start doing that. What was I saying about depth? How have I never come across this before? I've played this a few times. Is there a way to stop this? We just go here though. Okay. And if take takes, they remove the defender of this piece. So we probably have to slide the bishop back. And we're okay. They're trying to kick the bishop now. Hmm. We have to take this way, because if we take this way, we lose the rook. So, we have lost a bishop for a knight. But it, this is fine. They're arguably overextended on this side of the board. Um, is that useful to target this pawn? Probably not. Probably just centralized is more natural, isn't it? Oh, got a spot coming through there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> um, this is to allow the queen to defend the pawn, maybe. Um, let's try that. The sun's coming through this window as well. It gets proper bright. Um, this defends the pawn, but that's the sort of defense which is you're just hanging on by a thread, aren't you? Because they can easily kick you out, and then you go back, and then you lose the pawn. <sighs> so we've got a bit of a weakness here. We could push this pawn. Because this is defended twice. Takes, they take. We trade off a lot of material. If this, they, they can just take the piece. 
What if we go like this to try and defend the knight from the side? And have we got an in-between move? Um, I don't see anything. So we've got a king in the center. It takes, if this, this, we win a pawn, targeting this. Or just take the pawn. <laughs> Probably give up the knight, right? We give up the knight, and what if they play this? We just take. Just worrying for a second there about any pins. Maybe they bring a rook, yeah. So I'd love to take advantage of this damage structure. Now, these pawns aren't actually isolated, they're just a little bit far apart, so we'd need to be quick. If we ever try and target the pawn, they can always play that, so maybe... Maybe a silly idea. Um, this bishop does have vision here, so if this, this, we win this pawn, right? Cheeky. Very cheeky. I'll take it. But then we lose our pawn. But if this takes... Ooh, this. They take... We get this. Yeah. Probably not worth calculating, so I don't think they'd take this pawn after the bishop. Um... Yeah, it's a bit of an annoying pawn to lose. I, I totally didn't see that. This pawn is more valuable than this pawn. So that's not a good trade for us. Because this pawn keeps these double pawns. It increases the value of these double pawns. Because without this pawn, they're just awful, these two. Whereas this one, it wasn't really doing that much. Hmm... So where is our bishop best placed? I think we've got to move the bishop. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. It's here, here, here. Where do we put it, guys? This targets the weak pawn there, which is nice. It's handy. Ah, but they just push. But I can take. I suppose that's all right. We're still going to lose this. and So if takes, takes. They're not going to castle, which is nice. Is there a stronger move, though? If this, this... Here... Takes... You know what? This rook is an absolute nuisance. Our bishop would be very nicely placed here. Because we could... We'd be defending this pawn, we'd be allowing the trade of the rooks. And we are just a pawn up. I think if we can get this rook off the board, this is their only active piece. If we can just go bang, bang, bang. We're just coming in first, so we should get some advantage there. If there is any tactics to be had in the position, or just like go after the pawn like first before they do. If takes, takes. But they can always throw in this. And I've not got a great response. So I'm going to actually protect this pawn. Okay, and if here, they've always got this defended. I can go here, if takes here. Again, they're going to try and target this pawn. Still, it's good to put our rook on a light square, where it can't be targeted by the bishop. And then, I'm assuming I was just going to double up the rooks. If in, takes, takes, king here look, looks pretty nice for me. Let's try that. We've got to get the bishop out. Like, come on. If this, if they, if they take here, we just trap the bishop. So we go for a trade here, but if this, we take anyway. We're trying to win this pawn now. I think they're going to go rook back here, though. What? That doesn't work, right? Maybe with this, though. If we just go here, hold everything together, but if they go here, we go here, if they go... What if this, and if takes, we go here? We're winning the bishop? Here, I don't see what they do to save the bishop. We give away this pawn voluntarily. 
Bosh, bosh, bam. I don't know what they do in that case. Let's just make sure I'm not overlooking anything. So I realize I'm, I act very different in these videos where I'm taking on the high level bots, guys. I'm like deadly serious. That just goes so much deeper in the old calculation bank. So. Hmm. Do we do, I don't think we care about this. So here, I, I don't know what they do. I really don't. Takes here. Takes here. Take. Bosh. Here. If takes, takes. This, I, I don't know how they save their, their bishop. So. Okay. We're, we're up a piece for two pawns. We get, right, this is a bit of a decision here. If this here, and we have to go here, there's more checks. So I think, I think we go back. And then take this pawn. Try and trade. If this, let's say they go like here, trying to put pressure on the pinned piece, we just take that. If this here, here was safe. Okay. Where do we want their rook? So we've got a choice here. We're a pawn up. Oh, we, we've got the bishop for their pawns. It's, it's going to be tricky, but. Maybe we can do something here. So where do we want the, the rook? Do we want their rook here or do we want it here? We take this side, the rook's over here. Maybe we get this hitting the rook. I think probably it's better to have the rook on a dark square so we can hit it. Whereas if here, their rook's pretty active, cutting off our king. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is better. Wow. Okay, so now we've got to make our bishop sing in this position. And we've got to get active with our king. If we trade the rooks, does that make us more winning or more drawing? I think it, first of all, if this it, it sort of screws our position, the pin the pin's really annoying. Although we could go here and try and trade off the rooks, defend the rook, and it, if if takes takes, they're getting in with their king first, and my bishop's going to be. Bishop's probably going to have to sack for a couple of pawns. And it's probably just drawing. The Nahizmidian of Ross Limo attack. This is, a, this is a serious thing, isn't it? If this, threatening to double their pawns, does that help? If this, here, check. Here. Hit the rook. <sighs> yeah, this is a bit of a divergence point in all the potential outcomes of this game, guys. Uh, where are we going to go from here? Like, that's, I'm just taking a little bit more time. Um, I think bringing the king is a solid bet. But I, I don't really want to allow this. So maybe we hit the rook. Maybe just bishop here is, is a good square to s try and put some pressure on the pawns as they advance. If we get the king in, they go here, we go here. They take, we take, we push the king. They go here, we push the king. I really don't know who's winning that. If this here. I think this line looked best. It's good to do stuff with tempo, guys, so let's try that. Okay. So, if check... It's good to get our rook on the seventh rank, right? What does it actually do though? They just advance their king. So maybe we start advancing our king or our pawns like that. If here, they can't even go there. So this feels pretty all right. Trying to restrict their king. So this move, hmm, oh no. So if we do this, we lock in the structure, and that would be lovely if we had a light square bishop, because we could place it here. 
and, and you know just like reinforce the base of the pawn chain but they're daring me to lock in this structure where my pawns are on light squares and my dark square bishop can't protect them we have got a king to protect the pawns so what if we locked it in what if we went check now let's look at forcing moves first they have got this um threatening the bishop and if i go take uh, it doesn't seem great what if i just develop my king can't go there if check i go here take i go here we've only got one pawn though uh, i think this is probably drawing guys i think we've got to keep our two pawns on the board and if you remember my game against Agadmador, i locked in a structure with the pawns where they, they couldn't pawn break. And then, then I just marched the king over. And that's how I won. There was nothing they could do. So maybe I go for something like that. But here they have got a pawn break. They've got this. Bringing the king maybe is best. Or just... I just don't want to give away a pawn. I don't know. Try this. If here or here. Here we're not actually getting any further into the structure. We're probably going to end up going this side rather than round. Are we? Are we ever going to go to this square? I think this is more flexible. This just allows us to go to this square, which I don't think we're going to want to do. I think we're going to go here, here, here. Let's try that. Are they going to just keep checking me? Maybe that's a good sign for me. Um, I sort of want to try bring the king around, but I think we're going to have to stop these pawns, aren't we? So if here they put pressure on this pawn, we it's a bit awkward to defend. They can't go here because of this, though. So let's let's try this. So if we throw in a check here. This pawn now stops the king advancing. And actually, this check looks really strong. Bosh. King goes here or here. We just kick the king back. Get it out of the game. I think that's a definite. And then... Eh, what if this check? If here... We go, take, 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 two pawns for the bishop, with a more active rook, but it's two on two pawns, but in that case, it'd be their move, they've got nothing, we bring the king, we win, I think. Let's calculate this. Just, just start chomping. It, wait, if this though, here, this, how do they save this pawn? If here, I'm winning it. So this, this, this gives them two isolated pawns against my, against my little pawn chain here. If we throw in the check first, what does that do? They can't go to this square, surely, because then we get this with a revealed attack, just winning a pawn for free. Uh, so I think they have to go... If here, they have to go to this square. I actually think it's... So this, this... Um, if this... Here, here... Then these two pawns are solid. But I like the way my rook cuts off their king. But if we go here, um, here, here, we isolate their two pawns on this square and this square. And my rook is a little bit away from the edge of the board, which I don't like, although it's threatening this. So if the king tries to hit my rook, I just take the other pawn. So wh which one was better again? <laughs> I think this one looked better. Why is this check first here? This is a big risk. It, I think it's probably... Is it drawing? I, I don't know. 
Cover this, I take, they take, I get in. You know what, maybe I don't need to sack, maybe I'm just winning. What if I just like, play a slow move like this? And if they go here... How do I defend my pawn? I have to go like this. Doesn't look great. I might be throwing the game right now, guys. I'm just taking a bit of time, but let's go for it. Come on. Osh, if here. You push. We can't defend this pawn very well, can we? Oh no. Um, if this takes check here. They go here, we take. That looked good for me. Push. Um, I'd love to... See, if we push, we get this check. King has to go here. And then we get... Mm, it's tricky. We bring my king. I don't think taking this does anything. If check here, now that just improves their king position. Um, I think the move is either this, but after check we go here anyway. So if this here, this here, no here, um, like this. Threatening mate. Good threat and mate, guys. It's forcing. If this, here, here, here. I actually like bringing the king, you know. If this, here. I actually really like bringing the king. Letting us have... So if this, it threatens mate, they've not got a check, so they have to go like this, or this. If there, I take here. If this... Oh, this looks good, guys. Um, our king's just dominant. If What if we just take this pawn? I, I don't think it's fast enough. If this, making them decide, if here... Then I win this pawn. I'm not threatening mate though. This threatens mate. I have to go here, then I go here. Hitting the rook, which is nice. But their king gets on a good square. What was the other option? If... Wait, wait, wait. Can I, I can just... Wait, let's just kick the king out though. Kick the king out. Has to go here. Take this. Surely that's winning. Or this, but then king gets in. I, I, kicking the king out looks really good. If this, probably here. If this, trying to mate here. I, I really like kicking the king out. Bosh. Here. I mean, or even just this. Winning the pawn, but they probably go back. So I'm going to take their pawn now. And hit the rook. Bosh. If here. They can't go there. Here? I think we've won. I think we've won. 2100, guys. I think we've won. Alright, so if here. Oh, they have got checks, though. And if here. Then they get this square with the king. Ooh. Okay. I'll bring the king to here. But then check here. Take here this. Wait, what? What happened? Sorry, guys. We're going really deep for the calculation. I hope you're calculating too and getting something from this. Wow. 
I know I'm probably not like quite as instructive at these high level bots, but geez, you just gotta go like really deep in the calculation bank, can't you? I actually want to go for like a walk and come back to this position. This is it kind of, this is it drawing? I don't know. If this, I just didn't like this check. Because our king's a bit awkward. We go here. And then they get this move attacking the pawn. And then I get this defending the pawn. And then, can't go here because of the pawn. Can't go here. And our king's on this square, the rook's on this square. We just kick the rook and come in. I think the push is okay. It seems logical. I don't know what else there is, really. Unless we, unless we go here. What if kick the rook, though? What if check? If check it does kick their king away again it's nice actually check guys did i not look at this i was just thinking of that about this check it forces their king either onto the back rank in which case i can bring the king safely this 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 trying to get the king here oh i think the check looks nice Now if this, and check, I get this square with the king. The key difference. Right? And now the king is out of the game. And, uh... Could be good, right? I mean, surely that. Getting out of the pin, preparing to push the pawn, they've not got any checks. Bosh. Right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it for them. Here we go. Here we go, Oscar. Coming around for the checks, are you? Right. So if this, they get check. I go, yeah, it's almost mate, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. I could go in front of the pawn. I just, I just, in my head, I was like, I cannot go that side. I want to go this side. Um, so push, check, yeah, check, yeah. Don't think there's any more checks. Or if I just go here and here. So if here, check, go in front of the pawn, yeah, but what can you do? They come round. So if, right, sorry, sorry guys. If this, here, go in front of the pawn, what have they got here? Because they've got two moves to make something happen. Like, say if they come here to try and give another check. I go here. And then if they do give a check, I, I promote, right? This, they just keep checking me forever, I think. And this we looked at, and it didn't seem quite as clear after this here. Seems alright as well, doesn't it? Actually, then we're always threatening to promote here. Can't go here. Only check is this. We go here. They've not got a check. Can they threaten to mate me, though? They could go, like, here, threatening mate. Because the kings would be in opposition and, and this would be mate. They go there, I go here, but then they've got more checks. So I think I go in front of the pawn, as dodgy as it looks. Um, so I just move. So promote, 
takes, takes, and I'm killing the pawn. They've not got a check. Holy. Come on, guys. There's no stalemate. It's Bosch. It's Bosch. Come on, guys. Thank you all for your support, by the way. Um, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month, I'm getting the guitar out. I'm going to be playing some tunes. So please subscribe. I can't, this is my first. That's 2,100 I've beaten in classical chess. I did. I, I won a 2,200 in a bullet game, but this is this is the best win of my life <laughs> so far. But I, I keep topping myself. <laughs> so um, probably cut the king off as he got a square. He's got this square here. So if here they've got this square, just double checking there's no stalemates, guys. Um, so if here they get away, so maybe... Mm, maybe this. And go the other way. <laughs> I'm not the best at mating, guys. I'm not the best, right. I just, I just get really nervous when it gets to these last few moves that I'm going to stalemate. Uh, so if... This is where you throw in an in-between move, isn't it? What am I doing? I can cut the king off further. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Uh, this is where you throw in an in-between move. Okay, nice. Okay, we've got them over a square. Or a, a row. Um, I'm... Where do, we, where do we go? Like this? Do it this way? Uh, like, like this. Uh, they've got a square. They've got a square. <laughs> I've not done this type of mate. Like, normally I do it when I've got like three seconds on the clock and I, I can just do it. But it's actually scary actually calculating it all out. So if this, just cutting the king off further. Go to the edge. And when the king goes in opposition, you give check. That's, that's beautiful. If this way... They're going to come hit our rook, so we just swing round. And then this is where you throw in an in-between move, because if we go there, they'll pass us. Except this isn't mate, is it? <laughs> um, okay, so now we're threatening mate if they do pass us, if they do take opposition. Ah, 3, 2, 1, guys. Like and subscribe. Honestly, all your lovely comments really mean a lot. Like, some days I'm motivated, some days I'm not. And your lovely comments keep me going, guys. And, uh, yeah, make me strive to improve, keep improving my chest. Let's, let's look at the analysis on this. I'm going to just save that to my bookmarks because I'm going to do a video where I show the best wins of my life against all, the, all these high-level bots. Wow. I just felt good today. I was outside having a pizza, you know, feeling good. So at this point, I actually thought I'd lost. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. This is a quite a normal move. And here, the, I said maybe this is all overextended. It said I was slightly worse here. So that was my only inaccuracy of the game. Allowing this later on. So that says, says that was a blunder. And yeah, I just saw I won this pawn. And yeah, I didn't think it was great. Because I, I, as I said, I think this pawn was quite valuable. And this threat of coming in on the king was annoying. So it says they should have taken. Yeah, I think their big mistake is they didn't get castled quick enough. I think it hurt them. Like even here, there's still not moving the bishop. And yeah, I just... I, you know what, guys? Bots have a blind spot for this. Uh, for this bishop trapping. They, I've done this to another really high-level bot. Oh, wow. <laughs> it says that wasn't even best, me trapping the bishop. It says I should have gone... To take this. It says I should have gone for this line. Because the bit, I guess the bishop's trapped anyway. I don't need to take it. I can just take it at my leisure. Like there. 
So it's, the engine's actually suggesting a more greedy line where instead of just winning the bishop, I actually grab the pawn first. So anyway, I just took the bishop straight away. And best move was going back. What if I'd gone here? Was it equally good? Because I thought it was quite a bit worse because you're not... Here, they've got a nice uh, rook on a dark square as played. The rook was on a nice dark square, so I could target it. And nice. If in doubt, guys, try and move with tempo, which is... That was my thinking here. I wasn't sure what to do, but... I thought I'd get the bishop out of the potential pin with a, with a tempo. Wow, this wasn't good. And here I was just loving the fact they had no checks, and I was loving the fact that this pawn cut off the king so I could cut him on the back rank. Was this best move? It was okay. It was slight, slightly better, but it's not really saying whether it was winning or not. And that I think that was the move. The engine's actually saying that gives up some advantage for me. I actually thought that was really nice. So if they'd stepped in, I was maybe still winning, but they made a mistake not stepping in. Yeah, and this looks winning as well. Wow. So what actually happened? Um, they they stepped out with the king here, which was uh, yeah, it, it was funny. It was very odd. Don't know why you'd ever do that. Was it best that this move? I was a bit uncertain about. Yeah, if if here. I thought it just looked a bit uncomfortable with, like, them threatening mate, you know. Once the king gets in opposition, they can start to threaten mate. And bong. Bong bash bish. Wow. Yeah, thanks for all your support, guys. Um, just thought I'd go through the analysis there on this fairly high-level game. <laughs> yeah, cheers, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. First 2100. <laughs>